evening, everyone. We're going to get started here. Uh, there's some seats up here if you would like to take a seat. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, our chaplain, David Carrick, is going to give the invocation, and then we'll go from there. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful day uh, in this great location. And we thank you, Lord, for a lot of planning and preparation and, and prayers and seeking of wisdom and all of that that has gone into uh, getting ready for this day. Uh, Father, we thank you for the hard work that has uh, gone before this moment and for the, the minds and visionaries that looked beyond where we are uh, to see what was needed. And thank you, Father, for the uh, voters of New Philly that made this possible. Uh, thank you again for this moment, and I pray, Father, that all that is said at this point in time will simply reflect that you have provided greatly, will continue to do so, and we continue to seek your wisdom. In our prayer in Jesus' name. I'm going to start out with uh, some comments from uh, uh, Mayor Joel Day. Thank you, Jim, and I want to thank everyone for turning out uh, this evening for this ceremony. This is history. Uh, we're, in, we're making history. We haven't done this in 110 years, and uh, this is uh, an occasion that uh, we should all be thankful for. And uh, there, there are a number of people that I'd like to thank uh, uh, that, that made this event possible, made this, uh, the construction of the fire station possible. And I'm going to read from my prepared statement here. The commitment and generosity of many people in our community have made this day possible. And as mayor, I'd like to acknowledge your contributions and thank them for their efforts and dedication to improving our community through the construction of a new fire station. We're going to build a new fire station. First, I'd like to thank the voters of New Philadelphia who acknowledge the necessity of a new fire station by their overwhelming approval of the construction bond issue last November. It's now the city government's responsibility to see that their expectations are met or exceeded as actual construction of the new station gets underway. I'd like to thank Mayor Dave Johnson, Service Director Jim Zuckel, and the other members of the past administration and present and past city council members for their effort to obtain this land and put the plans in place to build a new station and put those plans into motion. Your commitment to this project will not be forgotten and I hope you take great pride in seeing what you started and is becoming a reality. Please join me in giving them a round of applause for their efforts. Community support of this project was the result of the hard work of the citizens for a safer New Philadelphia committee. This group of private citizens and businesses deserve our thanks for creating a grassroots campaign that promoted the bond issue and justified the need to build a new station now. Thank you very much. Well done. And we must also thank Fire Chief Jim Parrish and the members of International Association of Firefighters Local 1501 for the roles that they played in the successful bond issue campaign, and for their patience and understanding. Our city government knew for years that the condition of the existing fire station was deteriorating. Despite that, they continue to be exemplary in performing their service to the citizens of New Philadelphia. Had they not maintained that devotion to our community, support for the bond issue could have been a much tougher sell. Now that you will be the first firefighters to occupy the new station, I ask that you pledge to uphold those high standards that you've set and pass them on to future generations of New Philadelphia firefighters. All of the people in the groups I've mentioned all share a, a shared commonality. They are the authors of a new chapter in the history of New Philadelphia. The building that will be erected on this site will stand as a testimony to their dedication to the safety of our citizens and businesses and their willingness to invest in New Philadelphia's future. Thank you. Next is our uh, safety director, Greg Popham. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us in this historic event. You know, there has been talk for probably over the last 20-some years about the need for a new fire station. There's been surveys. There's been all kinds of different uh, council meetings, and it's taken a little while, 
but we are, this is finally, I can quit pinching myself. This is finally going to happen. And we owe a great, great deal of thanks to the voters in New Philly. If it was not for them, we wouldn't be here right now. All the volunteers that help during the election time, once again, we wouldn't be here without their help. And most of all, for Chief Jim Parrish, uh, for Jim, uh, this has been quite an experience. It's, uh, I guess I kind of look at it at like uh, climbing a mountain. And uh, right now we're close to the peak. Uh, the journey's not over but going downhill is a lot easier than the climb uphill. I know that Jim spent several, many nights that I'm sure he didn't sleep and wondered why he was doing what he was doing. But with his perseverance, he got up the next morning and continued his efforts for the purpose of the new fire station. I would just like to thank everyone and uh, I'm sure that there's 20-some firefighters that are extremely glad that this is going to happen. Thank you very much. Howard Schultz, he's a, he's a businessman. He has a uh, quote. Uh, it says, when you're surrounded by people who share a passionate commitment around a common purpose, anything is possible. I think what we're seeing right here tonight is a fine example of that. And I'd like to just take an opportunity to to thank many of the people that helped us get where we're at today. Um, we had a bunch of community community leaders, uh, informal and non, not formal, people on our side to make this happen. This wouldn't have happened without the leadership of Councilman John Zuckel. Uh, Mr. Zuckel and his past and current committee members worked diligently to allow the voters to decide if this is a project they would support with their tax dollars. Councilman Zuckel has supported numerous safety forces issues during his tenure as council. Former Mayor Dave Johnson for purchasing the land in 2014. Former Service Director Jim Zuckel for organizing the selection of the project uh, architect and engineer and assisting with the initial design. Uh, council President Sam Hitchcock for his uh, tireless support of the fire department and numerous aspects of the project uh, as well as the safety forces. Uh, Law Director Marvin Tate for his uh, many hours of legal research uh, pertaining to the bond issue as well as uh, construction and bidding process. Auditor Beth Gundy and uh, Treasurer Tom Gerber for their expertise and uh, support on the financial aspect of the project. Uh, former Councilman Dan Lonzer um, and current Council Rob Maurer, Darren Lottenschlager, uh, Dean Holland, Amy May, and Kelly Ricklick, as well as Council Clerk Jolie Courtright for their continued support. Service Director Ron McAbeer for his assistance in the bidding process and selection of the contractor, as well as uh, moving the project forward. Uh, Safety Gre Director Greg Popham for his longstanding service to our community and guidance throughout the entire process. Um, current Mayor Joel Day for his leadership of our city and continued support of the construction process. The New Philadelphia Quaker Club supporting us with uh, our uh, brick sales, the engraved brick, and I'll talk more about that in closing, but uh, to fund the training building that we're trying to do in addition to uh, this project here. So Brian Marsh Sr., Marsh Industries, Kevin Gray, uh, CEO of Lauren uh, International, Chris Pfeiffer of Stonecap Productions, Erica Metzger of Stonecap Productions, uh, and Melanie Osborne of Alanovas. Um, the committee that the mayor talked about, the Citizens for a Safer New Philadelphia, uh, Jim Borton, Matt and Emily Parrish, Stephen, Brenda, and Kim Ripeth, uh, Bob Alsep, Paul McCune, Bill Harding, treasurer of the uh, Citizens for a Safer New Philadelphia committee, uh, Captain Jim Schultz and Firefighter Matt Graham, president of the Firefighters Local 1501, uh, Holly Boylan, our uh, administrative assistant in my wife Sandy Parrish. Architect and Engineer Selection Committee 
was uh, Jim Demuth, uh, Scott Pipes, Gene Rosenberry, and John Smith. Um, Craig Barnett, Barnett Realtors. Um, they handled all of the, uh, the uh, information with the uh, purchase of the land. They did that for free. Most, all of these people either donated or, or uh, gave money to uh, make these things happen. We're very thankful. Uh, past and present members of the New Philadelphia Fire Department for their dedication to serving and protecting our community. I went to a lot of doors uh, when we were doing the campaign, and uh, I have to tell you how many people told us, told me that, you know, I'm voting for this because your guys took care of my mother, my father, you know, our house when, it, when, when we had the house fire, just many different examples of that. And uh, we, we owe our dedication to the, uh, the folks that have worked work here now and worked here before. Um, as well, uh, the taxpaying citizens of New Philadelphia for their support, that's pretty obvious. Um, Chris ba Bauer, president of Diversified Engineering, Ed McCall of McCall Sharp uh, Architecture, and uh, Brian Stahl was our project manager from Diversified Engineering as well. Uh, our media, WJER Radio, WTUZ Radio, and as well, the Times Reporter. We're committed to finishing this construction project within our budget, and we'll continue to apply for as many grants for equipment and facilities as possible to be fiscally responsible for our city. To date, we have received $450,000 in grants since 2008 for uh, equipment and things of the such. I truly believe there's nothing we cannot accomplish as a community when we work together with our citizens and our businesses. I continue to be amazed at how much talent and how many resources we have in New Philadelphia. Thank you. At this time, we're going to turn it over to uh, our council members for any uh, comments they would like to make. Thank you, Chief. Uh, I'm Sam Hitchcock. I'm the current president of council. And on behalf of uh, council, I would like to uh, just welcome everyone here and say it's great to see such a, a, a huge turnout for such a wonderful event uh, that is long overdue. Uh, back in the late 70s, I, I began my employment with the city of New Philadelphia as a policeman. At that time, we were in, in, in an antiquated old building that looked like it was ready to fall down. And it was an embarrassment to have our picture taken out in front of it. Uh, not only that, it was embarrassing to have to work out of it. Fortunately, somewhere down the road, uh, we were fortunate enough to uh, get a new building uh, to be able to work out of and operate uh, from a state of the art, and it was something that the community could be proud of. Uh, as I worked through my career, and even after my career, I couldn't help but notice that a lot of the uh, city departments uh, would routinely receive updated uh, facilities or sometimes new facilities and it always seemed like the the fire department was looked over it was always passed over for some reason uh, as a public servant a former public servant and uh, current public servant as uh, president of council I believe that public safety is one of the most important things, one of the most important things, uh, maybe the most important thing that uh, any local government can offer to their citizens. And it makes me very proud to be not only a city official, but it makes me extremely proud to be a citizen of this great community when this is taking place. Uh, I want to congratulate uh, Chief Parrish, uh, his department, uh, Safety Director Popham, and uh, specifically Council Member John Zuckel. When I became President of Council, uh, John had started this project in his committee as a safety committee. And I had asked him to take over the salary committee. And he said that he'd be glad to do that, but he says, Sam, he says, I want to want to hang on to the fire department project. And so I said, of course, that's no problem. John has kept that in the front of his mind. and. Uh, uh, working with the other members of council, past and present, uh, has been able to help the chief and help the community put this to, uh, this thing together. Uh, I would also like to thank, of course, thank the community and anyone else who was uh, positive on this uh, project. 
it, it's a great thing, great weather today, and, and once again, thanks for coming out, and it's great to see it happen. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I am John Zuko of New Philadelphia City Council, and it's a glorious evening, a beautiful night, and, uh, and the Lord Jesus has truly blessed us with, with great weather and an opportunity to come together tonight uh, on a very uh, momentous and historic occasion. Uh, as Mr. Hitchcock said, this has been a labor of love for myself and, and for Chief Parrish and all those who've been involved to try to make this a reality. You know, in New Philadelphia, we only do this every hundred years or so, so I'm certainly glad to be a part of it. But again, just an opportunity to share a few thoughts and, and comments with you this evening mean a great deal to me. I'd like to begin by, first of all, thanking the citizens of New Philadelphia, who without their tremendous support of this effort to construct a new fire department, we certainly would not have the opportunity presented us this evening with this groundbreaking ceremony. Their commitment and dedication to each and every one of those firemen and to their fellow citizens was affirmed in so many different ways at the polls. And again, we're very, very thankful for that tremendous support from the citizens in New Philadelphia. My gratitude is extended towards our former mayor, Dave Johnson, and service director, Jim Zuckel, who without their vision and commitment to the effort, again, we would not be gathering here today. Lastly, to the members of New Philadelphia City Council and the Salary Committee who championed this cause, you can be extremely proud in ensuring a legacy of safety and security for our community for many years to come. Each of you is truly a part of our city's history. To Mr. Harding, our treasurer for issue 36, Bill was a tremendous champion of this cause as well. He served us well from his sense of authenticity and enthusiasm that only Bill can bring. And he allowed the citizens of New Philadelphia to make an informed decision, again, which they resoundedly said yes to when presented with that opportunity. To Chief Parrish and the members of the New Philadelphia the Fire Department, the finest fire department in the state of Ohio, I am so very pleased you have a new home. Please accept my gratitude for all you do on behalf of the citizens of New Philadelphia. Please enjoy this evening and your new firehouse. And last but not least, certainly, I need to thank my family, my wife Wendy, my children Caitlin, Ethan, and Madeline, who I spent time away from or during trips when we were together as a family on a cell phone trying to find more information about what it takes to build a new and better fire station. I am always grateful for their blessing in my life. Thank you and thank you all at New Philadelphia for this momentous occasion. Let's enjoy history. Have a great night. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rob Maurer. I'm the Ward 4 Councilman, and I don't have a prepared speech, but uh, I guess what I want to share is a short story about uh, Chief Parrish and I, and over the years, he's sent me numerous texts, and I have a plan, and do you have five minutes, which normally turns into 30 to 60 minutes or longer, Sorry and uh, <laughs> so I, I remember it vividly. I got, a re I got a text on a Thursday morning. It's Chief Parrish. Hey, you got five minutes. Sure, stop on over. Comes over, says, look, this is what, look, what we're looking to do. And uh, he lays out the plan and how they're gonna do it. And I said, well, you know, do you have construction plans? You know what it's gonna cost? No, but I have a good idea. And never doubt this man. This man has, I mean, it, it's unthinkable what he's done for our community. I know the firefighters, the, the police officers, you know, we need staffing. And, and it's always been a problem financially for us to staff them, but I've always taken the approach that if you can't staff them, you better well equip them so that, so that when something does happen, uh, they have our back. So, uh, but I said, Chief, you know, do you think, and I had him, I said, do you think this is our best, do you think if we put this on a ballot, this is our best option? Because I, I will support this one time. And he looked me in the eye and he said, Rob, we can do this. And from that point on, I, 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 knew, we, I knew we could do it. And I can't thank the citizens enough uh, for, um, for supporting this. I, I think that the people in the community, are, they, they know our needs. And, and that fire station over there was not built for uh, the equipment that we have today. And, and um, just thank you. Most so. people won't give me a mic, so I'm going to take advantage of this. Uh, <laughs> Most of all, yes, thank you the citizens that uh, entrust this administration and this fire department in this project. Uh, I wanted to say a little bit about Mr. Jim Parrish. Um, I was superintendent of the water department for 13 years. I worked with him on a daily basis uh, and his staffing. 
Uh, there's no man in the city that puts in the effort and the research for any project he takes a hold of. I want to thank him as a friend and uh, a colleague that we work together on a daily basis. I've left the city. I no longer work there. I've taken this uh, council job. I ran for it on his push. <laughs> this is what he got me into. I want to thank him for that. But uh, the citizens of New Philadelphia are the greatest citizens, and this is the greatest city. Uh, I see former firemen out there. Uh, it's good to see you here. Uh, thank God I never had any of you come try to rescue me because you probably would not have under the conditions that I've put you guys through. Um, all I say is thank you citizens and the staff, the fire department. All I want you to do is make us proud how you take care of this building that these citizens have voted for. Thank you. Engraved brick. Our game plan is uh, we partnered with the Quaker Club to sell those brick and you can have uh, two lines. I'm not sure how many letters. It's on the form over there. Uh, but uh, our game plan is here on first drive on this side of the building. Uh, we're going to have those brick laid in the wall. So you can put anything on the brick uh, except for go tornadoes. Remember that. It ain't going to happen. I'm telling you right now. But uh, anyhow. Uh, um, feel free to be a part of this historical event. Uh, the, the cost of the brick are $100, and uh, the game plan is to take all the funding we get from that and uh, purchase a training structure. There's a big picture of it over there. Right about where that job trailer sits back there of uh, Coleany Constructions is where we're going to put that uh, training structure. That allows us our firefighters to train right here in our own backyard. And uh, so we're going to, uh, we're hopeful that, uh, that the community will support that. Uh, and, but one, one problem with it is there's a deadline because we're building a structure and we're laying it in the wall. So we have until July 15th at noon to sell as many bricks as we can to put in that wall. Now, I'll tell you, there's 85,000 brick in the total project. If we sell that many, it's okay. It'll, it'll just be bricked with 85,000 names on it. So, uh, but they're, uh, they're, we're, they're selling them for $100 a piece and uh, all the funding goes toward that training structure. So we're hopeful that that works out. The other thing I have to tell you is back behind you on the corner of that building up there is a webcam. It's a live webcam. It was donated by Frontier Communications and uh, our web designer is uh, diligently working on getting that all set up. Once that's set up, you'll be able to go to the fire department's website, which is uh, www.newphiladelphiafire.com, and you'll be able to watch the construction of the project. Uh, it'll be live day and night. It, it doesn't shut off, and uh, um, you'll be able to see the progress of, of the uh, fire station. And uh, the other the other thing with uh, video. Uh, diversified Engineering is putting up um, trail cams around the site and at the end of the project we're going to have a video of the uh, project from start to finish all the way up. So again I appreciate everyone coming out and sharing this, uh, this evening with us. Uh, thank you for coming and uh, have a good evening. Momentous day is something that's uh, long overdue. Uh, something that uh, you know I have experienced uh, being put by the wayside for so many years. I couldn't understand why, and, and there may not be a real reason, but it's uh, certainly uh, rewarding to see it finally all come together and uh, become a reality. Well, this is uh, such a historic event for the city of New Philadelphia. Uh, this will be the first time in 110 years we've constructed a fire station. Uh, it's a much needed structure. Uh, it'll help uh, put us a big step forward in modernizing the city and uh, I'm so appreciative of the voters of, of this city for saying it's the right thing uh, to do. We are so humbled uh, to have the support of the people in this community. Uh, like I said in my comments, it's all about commitment.
and uh, the people in this community are committed to uh, making this a safer place to live, a safer place to work, and uh, we're just so thankful for that. And uh, just hope to uh, uh, have a good product when we're finished. Uh, I'm, I'm certain we will. We've got all the right people in the right places and uh, people working together, and, and that's, that's the example.